Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course. Our opinion Bob. is often wrong, but today it's right. right there Brad? you go. Say no more, Bob. All right, today, Brad, we're going to talk about the best full body resistance loop band exercises set. So, is that what the final word is? I don't know. <laughs> um, by the way, we're using Sank Band here. There we go. Pretty inexpensive band. You go down into our, our Amazon favorites, and uh, I'll link down below, and we'll have it listed there. Um, so it's just it's a nice band, especially if you're going to do some lower extremity strengthening. We're going to show a couple posture ones, too, for the upper extremity. You bet. Right? It really covers the whole body. Um, and it's nice because if you're on vacation or you know, if you work and you travel, you can put you know, a couple, three of these in your suitcase. They take Put them in your pocket. Put them, yeah, exactly. So um, Yeah, they're very convenient. You're going to find out you get a really nice workout from the core, the arms, the whole work. Be careful with that. By thing, the way, Bob. if you haven't already subscribed to us, please take a second to do so. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Good, good. Also, go over to Facebook and like us because it's sad. It is. People, I've, I've heard people cry about this. Uh, Brad and I, as children, were picked on and ostracized and not liked, and so we're trying to turn things around. Okay, Brad. Let's why, Bob? Why? I don't know why, Brad. Okay, here we go. So, you take your sink band or your loop. You know, I already have just, mine the, in the place. generic is, is a loop, and we're going to start in supine position or laying on your back, um, which is supine in the therapy world. Now, there's two ways you can put the band. Bob has it just above his knees. And in a figure eight. And in a figure eight. So instead of going like this, you simply put a twist in it, and it helps hold it where you need it to belong. And you'll, once you work with it, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. So the figure eight is a good option. I'm going to go actually go just around my feet. Now, this is going to be a little more difficult as opposed to your knees, but do whatever works best for you. Try both ways and do what feels good for you. We're How gonna, many are we doing, Brad? We're going to do 10. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start out with hip flexion, just simply going up like this. Whoa, there we go. And there goes my mic. Your mic? <laughs> ah, they can't hear. That's, That's right. They don't right. want to hear you. Okay, well, I might get the count off here because I'm talking and everything, but don't. I think that's so, 10, Brad. Good, let's go to the other leg. Now, if you're doing it, it's better to do it with shoes on than barefoot because the sink band, the loop band, will actually kind of grab onto the soles of your feet if you're doing it around your foot or ankle like Nine, I have here. Nine, 10. Good job, okay. okay. Now, we're going to put in abduction, just one leg at a time. You toe know, straight up. Yep, yeah, toe straight up. If you really want a hard workout and you're really a fit person, you can do both legs at the same time. It works the core more. Um, but we're, yeah, that's pretty tough. Yeah, that that was 10 on the one side, Brad. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to pretend we're all beginners here, and you can advance as needed. The next thing we're going to do when Bob gets to 10 is we're going to roll to our stomach. Are you ready, Bob? Did yes, I am ready. All right. This, is, this would be the prone position. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead, Bob, start. And what are we doing? Extension? Extension. Hip extension. So you can do it this way yeah. with the legs straight. Or if you want to work the butt a little bit more, focus on the butt, you're going to go ahead and bend the knee up like this. Exactly. Now, if you have it around your ankle like me or the, or the foot, you cannot, that option's not available. Ten. Whoa, this is, this is fun, Bob. Yeah, it is. You I'm bet. having a blast. You bet. And make sure you're breathing, as Brad always likes to remind us. Ah, yes, yes taking that beautiful O2. We need to get that. Yes, oxygen in, carbon dioxide out. Wow. Ten. Okay. All right. Where are we now, Brad? I don't know. Quadruped. Quadruped. All right. Just wait, Bob. I've got to change my band because it doesn't work around the ankles so well. I don't like that. So here I'm going to put my figure eight in. Well, one more we could do prone, Brad, is, by the way, and you could do it with figure eight, is the um, clamshell. Oh, that's. Should we do that yeah. one on the side? That's a nice one for that hip adductor that gets missed a lot of times. Hip external rotation works the uh, piriformis really there, well. There you go. It, this, is a, this is one for your butt too if you, you don't want that shapely bottom. Gets that gluteus yeah. maximus, the gluteus medius. I think for our friends in the UK they call it a bum, don't they? I don't know. I, I gotta get there, Bob. <laughs> Nobody ever invites us over to there. Yeah. But we have a lot of nice comments coming from that direction, so we're happy. Yeah. You know. We got a pretty good following in the UK. Are you doing the other direction, Bob? I am doing the other direction. Yeah, make sure you do both sides, otherwise you'll start to walk in circles, and that's not good. And people talk about you then. Yep, right? we know from experience. Yep. Okay. Ten. Now we're going to go quadruped. Okay. In other words, hands and knees, like when you're a little kid and you used to play, you know. Bob, do you still play like this? All the time, Brad. <laughs> we're going to work hip extension. And if you want the hardest workout, start from the neutral position 
and just do, yep, that'll work, that gluteus maximus. Yeah, again, that's going to yeah. really focus on that area. And with the resistance, yeah. this is a good workout. This one, you know, uh, yeah. this one's going to do what you want it to do. You can do it with your legs straight or with it bent. Ten. If you have a tendency to get hamstring cramps, keep it straight. I guarantee you, you, you won't get a cramp then. But if you bend it, you may get one if you have that. If you want to do full range of motion, that's acceptable too. So again, this is amazing. This just little band doesn't cost much of anything, but it get, really makes this workout a lot harder. I thought I'd so. turn around because then they get to see my face versus my buttocks. I think they're both about the same, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as here far we as go. As desirable. Yeah, out, out to the side. All right. The dog, what do they call this, the dog? Fire hydrant. Fire hydrant, where the dog uses the fire uh -huh. hydrant. What is that joke that you used to say if, if I made cookies with your face, it would look like the butt of a dog? I'm sure whatever it is, Brad, you're going to screw it up, and you just did. <laughs> I did. You didn't disappoint me. Let's do the other leg. Well, you know, I'm a therapist. I'm not a joke teller, Bob. Ten on yeah. each side. Are we not an English spent specialist either, are you? <laughs> no, English major was not my thing. Okay. We're going to take the left knee, right, left knee or right knee, whichever one, go up around your elbow. Oh, out to the sorry side. about that. Yep. I didn't do that right. That's a deep one. And we're well, gonna... that does make a difference. Oh, yeah. You, you curl up. You're going to get some of the, the, the lateral muscles on this, on the abs there, the oblique action, plus some hip action. It really works oh, well. Oh, yeah. You do feel this in the core oh, on the outside. Yes. Let's switch. Oh, uh, this is more fun than we expected to have, Bob, yeah. isn't it? See, now this is the kind of thing you could be doing, you know, at and home, in and your it, bedroom. And it's legal. Out, out in the living room. It's, it's legal. not illegal. You, it's legal. You can do this. Yep. If you're in a hotel room, you got to get your workout in. Got a big day the next day. Good. Okay. All right, 10. Now the next one in the push-up position. So a little core work. And we're going to take the left leg and just abduct and back in. You know, if you don't want to touch the floor, it makes it much harder. But go ahead and touch the floor. Oh, that does make it harder. Oh, yes. Ooh, Say that's no a, more. That's a pressure. Yep. Oh. Okay, oh, and then the other leg. That wore me out. Yes, it's fun, Bob. This will work you over and under. Yes, that's why I titled it Full Body Resistance Loop Band Training. Wasn't that hard until this point? Now yeah. it's getting hard. If you want to do both legs at the same time, that's an option as well. Going out, it's a little harder than bringing your feet together for obvious reasons. Okay, Bob. Good. Should we go to standing? Uh, I thought we were doing mountain climbers on this. Oh, too. that's right. I didn't put that in at first, but Bob said, let's do mountain climbers. He can start them out slow. I'm the, trying the, to keep good posture here with my back straight. I don't know if it is straight. Lonnie, am yeah. I straight? Okay. She wouldn't tell you anyway. No, Bob. she wouldn't. <laughs> She's. Now, why wouldn't she? Now, if you, you can make this a little more aggressive, this is where you find out that figure eight on the loop really helps yeah. the loop stay where it's supposed to. Wow. Okay. I didn't, I got to hang me some deodorant to go to work later. Yeah. Patients are going to not like me. They already don't like you. Well, I know. Add that still. in there, that's going to be almost unbearable. Can we go to standing? Let's go to standing. All right. Okay, we're going to do standing with a uh, little support. A huh, little balance stick, yeah. Okay. Should we start out with abduction, Bob? Sure. You go that direction so it looks like, yeah, a mirror image. Is that what it's yeah, called? Exactly. So don't do this. Yeah, no dipping. Posture, posture. We're therapists. We're always concerned about posture and health. And look at that. My shoe became untied. And toe straight forward. Yeah, don't let them go out like that. Whoop, okay, like I'm that. switching to the other side now, Brad. Sure. And I'm going to do it that way. Oh, yeah. You're not dipping, are you? No, no, Bob. All I'm right. staying strong like bull. <laughs> you better believe Keep it. that core. Should we, do, uh, should we do these? Sure. Yep. Doing some hip flexion. Yep. Get that knee up high. Now, if you want to make it a little harder, there you do some repeats like that. Yep. And even harder yet, don't let it touch the ground. Right. A little power move there. You know, if you've got good balance, you don't need the stick, but you may need it, depending on your abilities. Right. So 10 on each leg we're going to do. Uh, I'm I just remember, touch Bob. We used okay. to do this game when I was a kid. You would both hold on to the stick and you run a uh, balance beam. We try to knock each other off. Oh, really? Yeah. Just, we'll do that next yeah, week. We'll do that next week. How about hip extension, Bob? Oh, with hip that, extension. With the band. Now, if you put the band like I have it down by my ankles versus yeah. above the knees, it's going to be harder. If I go above the knee, I should probably bend the knee like this sure. and work it a little bit yep. more like this. Good Just, balance, good core. You know, we're getting all the things again here together. Right. And we're talking about. You know, 
Good posture, using the stick and breathing. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, excellent, Bob. We did you that. You didn't finish up. You did eight. I, I know, Bob, <laughs> but I'm running the show. So okay, I get, all I right. The, I get the break. That's my. I think we're going to arms now. Handicap. Aren't we? Yep. Let's do the arms. So. Now you may want to sit down to put these on and off if your balance isn't real good. Sometimes I fall doing this. We don't want to have that. So have a chair handy. Uh, sit down and take your time because they kind of wrap up around your yeah, clothing do. sometimes. So take your time with the, with the loops. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, what are we doing? Around the forearms. Around the forearms. Once again, we're thinking posture and shoulder body mechanics. So it's I'll show like it this, this way. There you go. And we're going to do the hitchhiker. Yeah. So this the is thumbs, a, we're like, it's like you're doing the hitchhiker. Boom. This hey. is a good one to have just even at your desk. Oh, and seriously, put this in right. and throughout the day do these because this is going to give good resistance yeah. to those muscles. Squeeze up, get those arms up that higher, Bob. Up. There you go. Look at that. Look at those shoulder blades move. Yeah. He's got some scapular retraction. Any therapist would be proud to have you as a patient, Bob. Thank you. Now let's do the next one. This Probably is even more fun. Bring it down around the wrists. All right. If you want to put a figure eight in, it's that easy. Look at that. No figure eight, figure eight. Yeah. Wow, he's right. Around the wrist, elbows need to stay here. You don't have to do this, but Bob. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's just an example. You want to keep. If you do one at a time, if this this shouldn't hurt either, by no, the way. If this no. is hard on your shoulder, but this is always probably our gold standard uh, exercise for rotator cuff strengthening. Precisely. We really like the external rotation. Yep. It's really a good one to do. You can do both at once. I like to do one at a time because you can yeah, focus on the mechanics. You really do. And boy, I tell you, my arm is fatiguing. Yeah. You don't have to have a towel in there, but the reason is just if, if your our elbow comes too far away from you. You're doing this. All right. So, so keep so it in that tight. That keeps you honest. Yep. And by the way, I do have the heavier band today, so I am yeah. working a little harder. Yes, he is. Plus, he's taller. He's got longer limbs, so that adds yeah. to the leverage But part. Brad had it all the way around. Plus, it doesn't bother me if you're working harder, Bob. <laughs> it I doesn't bother that. not a bit. So. All right. Now we shake it off yeah. a little bit. Shake yeah. it off. Shake it off. That okay. made me perspire. I'm going to have to take yeah. a shower. I do, too. All right. Very all right. good. Thanks, everybody, for watching.